Cool. Quiet on set. Yes, quiet on the set. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Olga is here. For those of you who haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the bell as well to get the latest notifications about the videos I post out there for you guys. I post three videos per week, every week, three. It's like the genie, three wishes, not five, not two, it's three videos per week. They do not happen on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I cannot uphold myself to that tight of a schedule. It's three videos. If they happen to happen all on Wednesday, great. Sometimes they happen Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Sometimes it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday or Saturday. It just all depends because your girl has a job and other responsibilities. And I love YouTube. I love making videos and I'm trying to do the best I can. So with all of that out of the way, guys, I'm really excited about today's video. It's going to be about the wig. So this is an unboxing video, meaning I'm not going to go into too many details about the wigs. First of all, this is like my very first real hair Remy lace wig. So this is like you can see the wigs here sitting behind me. These are by far like the ch like my cheapest wigs, meaning that they are like within 20, 30, 50 dollar range type of wigs. I think the most the most expensive here I have is this guy right here. As you can see, I love haircuts and all of that. But more about that in my separate video. I will have a dedicated video about wigs and these types of wigs, like and as to why you see spiky haircuts, hence a haircut on me, and why you see all these haircuts. More about this in like a next video. I will have more videos dedicated to wigs. If you'd like, let me no, do sound off in the comments down below and we will go into details about all of this and as to why you see so many similar styles. Now, this one is totally different. This is a long hair wig. This is the box it came in. Basically, FedEx delivered it. I had removed the outer packaging because I'm sorry. It has my address on it and I don't feel like sharing it with the entire world. I received it this morning. It actually was supposed to be delivered yesterday but because they deliver on signature, even though like everybody was at home. Um, somehow we did not hear the door and so it didn't get delivered and all I got was a lovely sticker. So today we were waiting for them and I signed for it and when the car pulled up to my house. I'm like, oh, it's FedEx, it's the wig. I'm really excited. But even though like I'm excited about this wig, the most excited person about this is my hubby because he loves long hair and we kind of sat down together and we ordered this loveliness right here. So as you can see, I have not yet removed it, but boy, did I want to remove this out of this packaging because I was literally like, no, I should not because I should film a video about this and let the viewer know how I feel about this, like my first impressions about this wig. And now, I'm not an expert on wigs, so I'm not gonna sit down here and tell you like in a lecture format how many strands of hair and all of that. If you want a, like a detailed lecture type of video, uh, we will have that separately, but not today. Today is just unboxing me trying it on and basically taking it all in and seeing what it looks like. Like I said, none of these wigs here behind me have natural hair and it's, it shows. It's, I mean, they're okay, they're cute wigs, but this is like more like for like Halloween, things like that. Those wigs right here came from the place called Vogue Wigs and this one is a lace wig, so this is like by far like the higher, much higher quality of the wig. And so this is also what was in the box. So right as I opened the box here, I got this lovely little thing and it says that if you want to get like $10 coupon, you can post pictures on Instagram and get like a $10 off or for $20 off, you can uh, post a video about your experience with like showing off the wig and basically they're willing to give you like 
a coupon. So like if you do decide to order from them, I'm going to link the information into the description box down below. You can see all of that. It's kind of cool to see like, because this was the very first time I ordered something like this from their website. So I had no idea like exactly how it comes. I can roughly tell you that we ordered this a couple of weeks ago. I want to say four or five weeks ago for sure and when you open up the box there is like there is a brush it comes like that in the packaging and then you get these caps because when you wear a wig in order to like actually wear it properly you're supposed to have your hair um, put away in a cap and then put the wig on so there is the whole like special way of putting on a wig um, if you guys know how to do it and I'm sorry if I'm like giving you information that you're already familiar with but for those of you who have never worn a wig it might be interesting information and then these are like special clips I guess I don't know what these are I think I think maybe you're supposed to like use them if you want to change something with the way your hair is laying but like I said not an expert very first time this is what the wig looks like I'm going to remove this out of the cellophane bag and you see it's kind of like in a net like that there is a tag. This was a pricey wig and I want to show it to you guys and basically give you my first impressions and tell you what I think. So I'm going to go and have my hubby put this on me, help me with this and then I'll be right back and I'll see you then. So apparently not yet. You see I have put the cap on. This was a chore as well in and of itself because I thought it's going to be easier to put my short hair into this pantyhose cap you know that comes with a wig mm -mm, no I think it would have been easier if I had long hair to conceal under this cap because the short hair tries to like get out and you have a lot of these runaways now since I told you that I have never dealt with a real hair wig and this is a lace wig and this is not tight knots what I have learned is that this is actually really nice quality and this, this is what it looks like inside. It has these pins, no idea how to pin it to my head, so don't ask me. However, this is an extra lace. So when you put this on, apparently you have to cut off this axis. I just watched another YouTuber's video and now I'm gonna get off of the camera, cut off the lace, and then I'll be right back because this is not how to put on a wig video, meaning I don't know how, so I, I don't feel comfortable cutting my wig, first wig for the first time on camera. The wig wearing is not my forte, just yet. So I'll be right back after I cut this excess off. <laughs> okay guys, I did not cut this lace off, so don't panic. This is not how you're supposed to be wearing the wig, I do understand that, however, because I don't see well and I have to be cutting like very close to the hairline I'm gonna actually go ahead and like contact their customer service and I'm going to also call my hairstylist and I'm sure she has dealt with this situation before so I'm going to get back to you and actually report to you basically what it looks like properly like actually have them walk me through how I'm supposed to wear the wig and how close to the hairline I'm supposed to cut because I just watched that um, lady and I'm gonna link her video down below in my description because I really really like how thorough she was I really appreciated that video and if you guys want to see how she cuts it go ahead and check her out the reason I don't want to cut it is because I'm supposed to be cutting super duper close here and I'm supposed to follow Follow my hairline and also then there is like what she's talking about is once you cut your wig like uh, to however it's supposed to be you can use uh, let me just get my cat one detail you need to customize then once this is all cut you need to customize this to your own skin color so like she's talking about going into colors like these and actually putting some of them or you can like use the eyeshadow to basically make it a flush with your skin tone which is really smart thing to do i've known about this trick um because i do have other wigs but like i said these wigs are nothing like this wig so i would not be 
like that's why I don't know what to do with all of this business like I know to cut this off but I don't want to mess up the wig because I paid um, quite a few hundred dollars for it and it's expensive so these wigs don't have it they're synthetic so I know how where to wear those wigs but this wig is really um, real hair and it looks really good the more I'm wearing it the more I feel like it's relaxing also I believe that with this wig I can customize where my hairline is I would have preferred if these roots were darker like it would give it a more natural look right now it doesn't look natural on me because I'm so much darker and I have dark eyebrows but basically guys I would have to work with this and then report back to you and show you what the finished product looks like so I hope you still enjoy this video even though it's unexpected turn of events I just don't feel comfortable cutting it myself guys I don't see well um, and I don't want to spoil my wig I still hope that you can give me thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and I will see you all in my next video guys I love you bye